Hello, welcome back to the farm. Today is a little bit different. Uh, it's going to be a road trip. I'm going to Louisiana to pick up some more cattle. I'm just past New Orleans and uh, it's just shy of midnight right now, local time here in Florida. I'm going to just uh, try to run the night and get there. Uh, my goal is about 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, it's only about seven hours um, each way. I plan on kind of stopping somewhere and taking a little nap. I was going to leave at four in the morning, but I couldn't sleep. That always happens. So I figure Miles will get a few miles behind me and then I can take a sleep when I get tired. So this video is just going to be my road trip and picking up the cattle and getting back home. Hopefully everything goes okay. If you see this video posted, I guess everything worked out just fine. Anyway, I'm just heading out right now and uh, we'll see how this, uh, how this goes. All right. Come along, let's go. Gotta provide a little bit of light here because it's dark. Um, anyway, it's about 2.30 in the morning. Really, it's 3.30 in the morning, Eastern time. Uh, I've been driving for about three and a half hours, which isn't too bad. I'm not super tired, but my dilemma is my first stop I can't be there before 9 a.m. <laughs> so I'm making good time and I kind of knew I would have to drive for a little while and then take a take a break. I have 200 miles until my next stop. Being it's only three hours away, I can really sleep for, I can sleep till six. So I can sleep about three hours if I can get that sleep. That'd be preferential because like I said on the way back, I'm trying to run it straight. I'm pr I'll probably, have to, I mean, I'll stop, take breaks, but uh, I want to get them home as soon as possible. It's going to be dark when I get back, which is unfortunate. I like it to be light when I'm bringing an animal to a new place, but it's just not going to be possible. We'll just work around it. Anyway, um, this is going to be the, the the sleep for tonight. I'm going to put my my hoodie on keep a little warm it's 34 degrees right now I'm warming the truck up inside because I drive with it cool so I'm gonna warm it up right now and then uh, shut everything down and go to sleep and a wake-up alarm will be besides all the trucks driving by um, getting cold that'll wake me up so anyway um, hang tight more to come stand by all right so we're going good I got my little nap um, I got up at six o'clock, like I planned, hit the road. It's almost 10. Yeah, so I hit my first stop um, about right on time. And uh, I got refueled again. The gas here is cheap. Um, I, the diesel is cheap. And I got refueled, let Millie unfuel, if you will. And uh, made contact again with the guy. We're looking good. I have about another hour and I'm there and I'm gonna get them pick up the package and then we're good to go so right now I'm at a light and it just turned green so I'm gonna shut this off and uh, get back with you in a minute okay so we picked up the package it's about 11:30 in the morning and uh, we got the package picked up three of packages actually they all got vet checked and uh, certification and all that um, so I should be good to go nice guy I have seven more hours of driving to do 503 miles so we're gonna hit the road let's go okay pit stop I got the girl out I got her got some raisin canes haven't had that in a while I got her, her own kids meal with a bottled water she's spoiled and when she gets bored in the back she has a little coloring book or whatever this thing is I'm gonna take a quick, quick, quick bite. She's dying of hunger. Then we're gonna hit the road again. Everything's going good. Just past New Orleans, just outside of New Orleans now. And there we go, into Mississippi. Bye bye, Louisiana. Okay, gonna check another one off. Sweet home Alabama. Bye bye, Mississippi. But really, it's sweet home Florida. Gotta keep going after this rest stop. Hang tight. All right, all right, all right. What do we got here? No 
Alabama. It's Florida. Welcome, Florida. All right, this means I have to stop at the ag station. That one right there. So, they probably wouldn't be very fond of me doing this on film. And I need two hands. So, I'm gonna get off this. We're making good progress. Uh, still about four more hours. See you soon. Oh. All right, after 21 hours and a thousand miles and a quick three hour interrupted nap, I'm happy to say I'm back at the farm. Thank God. Um, so, oh, pulling up to the gate somewhere here. And it's pretty dark, so I think I'm gonna have to leave it as this right now. We'll go open the gate real quick. And um, we're not gonna be able to see letting the cows out. Well, I will, but you won't. And uh, I think uh, you just won't be able to see anything because it's so dark. And it's cold and I need to put my sweatshirt on. Let's see what happens tomorrow. Oh man, it's chilly. All right, so let's fast forward to tomorrow. All right, a new day. We're coming out here and the turkeys followed me, but now they changed their mind and they're kind of going back over. So, and down, <laughs> it, back up. All right, I don't know what they do, what they want. Here comes the herd. These are the new ones. Hi, good morning. Hey, cow. They had a rough day. Oh, y'all are supposed to be friendly. They're friendly, their halter broke, all that. But they've mingled with the herd nicely. But these three are the ones. One of these, man, her, her udder is huge. I think it's 25 who is due to pop anytime. Hey girl, look at, oh, and mama's bringing her baby for me. Beautiful, look at this. So you could see some of the the rye grass that I put in there. But we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hey guys, good morning. So they like the peanut hay more than the grass hay. And then we got turkeys <laughs> strutting their stuff. That bourbon turkey, that one's I don't know if it's friendly or annoying, but it's the one that's always following me. This is the, besides that one dropping a deuce, uh, is the calf running to me? Hey, cow, come here, calf. Anyway, this is the herd. We made it safely from our trip, thank God. And we're doing good, that's that. Thank you for watching. I'm glad the trip went well. See you on the next one.